Is Perplexity Pro worth it? Now there's no shortage of premium AI tools these days. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna try to answer as best as I can if Perplexity Pro is worth it for your specific use case. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan. I appreciate you being here. My goal is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So if you have any thoughts on this topic, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But now let's dive back and to figure out if Perplexity Pro is worth it or not. So first of all, I am a subscriber of Perplexity Pro. I'm not selling snake oil in this video. I've had a few months now to dabble in this tool and dive around more in Perplexity, and it is $20 a month, which is the same price point as ChatGPT Plus and Claude Pro. And if you're unfamiliar with Perplexity, or you haven't really dove into it yet. Long story short, this is an AI powered search engine. As you'll see here, according to Google Trends, it's starting to gain a lot of popularity. People are turning to this as an alternative to Google Search, Bing, DuckDuckGo, as this is more of an AI powered and uncensored search engine, at least as of this video recording. So when it comes to Perplexity Pro, I found this image here when I actually got the subscription. They sent me this image that compares the free plan to the pro plan and you can still do a lot on the free plan of perplexity for most people that don't use it very much it's probably suitable enough just to have the free plan but when it comes to what you get here right so the free plan you get unlimited quick searches five pro searches a day you get the standard perplexity ai model and you also get an ai profile to help better uh, personalize your answers so to say with the professional plan, you get unlimited quick searches, no difference there. You get, this is different, 100 plus pro searches. You get to select your different AI model that you use in the settings. You can upload and analyze unlimited files, AKA the vision capability. You can also generate AI images with Perplexity Pro. And you also get right here as an added bonus, $5 a month in API credits. Now these aren't listed here, but you also get access to Perplexity pages, which are very important for indexing your website online. I have a separate tutorial for that. You also get access to Pro support. So if I go back to this inside my Perplexity profile, notice here how it says Pro Discord, Pro support. So you do get better support if you're on the Pro plan versus the free plan. And that makes complete sense. So one of the first features that you might be looking at here is the difference between pro searches and quick searches. At least that's one of the first things I was considering. Is pro search really worth the $20 a month price point? Well, according to Perplexity, what even is a pro search? And they define this as really a more advanced or more in-depth, accurate responses to your question. It gives you more. Smarter interactions, uh, it solves complex problems, summarizes, interprets code, higher user limits. It has all these different use cases. So academic research, professional research, code interpretation. And so really when it comes to the research element, I think that's where pro search excels over just traditional search. But let's put this to a real test here. So I'm gonna come back to perplexity and you'll see here, here's the toggle between uh, free and pro search. So I'm gonna do the quick search and I'm gonna do one of these just to make it simple. I'm gonna do US housing market analysis by city in 2024. And this is what the interface looks like just using the quick search on the free version of perplexity. So right here, it has sources up top, Realtor, uh, Adam Data and some other ones right here, uh, regional trends, major city highlights, future outlook, you can ask it related questions, search images and videos. Um, so again, that's still pretty good in my opinion, but if I wanna come back, let's start a new chat here. Let's click on the pro version, click US housing market analysis by city 2024. What I noticed right away is this pro search comes down. It says search for 2024 housing market data by city, searching, reading, summarize the findings. So it looks like it's using more advanced research data. At least that's what I'm gathering right here. And then it comes down our national trends. So it breaks it down into regional variations too. So east, west, midwest, northeast, notable specific trends. So it has different cities, it has coolest markets. So really look at this response here. Look at how more in depth and detailed this response was using pro search versus the free search, right? I got regional trends and it was a lot shorter, uh, a lot less in depth here than it was what I got with the pro search. So if you like things like that, or if you find this valuable for whatever your use cases are, that's just a really quick example of the difference between a pro search and a quick search inside Perplexity. Now, another feature of Perplexity Pro is the ability to select your preferred AI model. And what do I mean by this? So if I go back to Perplexity and I click the settings icon next to my name here, and I scroll down under Perplexity Pro, you'll notice it says AI model. And there's a toggle. You can choose between different models 
on Perplexity Pro, if you're on the free version of Perplexity, I believe it's just set to default and you can't change this. But here I have Claude 3.5 Sonnet, I have GPT 4.0, Claude 3 Opus, and then Perplexity also has its own models called Sonar Large or Sonar Huge. I think it's Sonar, Sonar, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but you'll see here it says advanced model trained by Perplexity based on Llama 3.1. And then this is the other one trained on Llama 3.1 405B. So these are Perplexity's models trained on Llama, which is Meta's large language model. So long story short, that is another feature you can do with Perplexity Pro is change the different models. And honestly, guys, I don't think this is a huge deal because let's think about this. You can already use Claude 3.5 Sonnet for free, just pulling up Claude. You can use GPT 4.0 for free, just pulling up ChatGPT. You can also use Llama 3 for free on Meta.ai. So all of these models you can already use for free. There's really no paywall behind this, um, but this is just a, a little feature that they like to throw in on their Perplexity Pro plan just to give their paid users more customization. But again, not a huge deal in my opinion. Now, one other quick tip I should mention, if you're doing any searching on Perplexity, is there's this thing called focus mode. I think this is for even free users. You can come in here and change the different type of focus for your search. So whether you want an academic search, math, social, video, writing, web, uh, reasonings and beta mode. Again, I don't know if this is specific to the paid version or if this is available to the free version. Just wanted to throw that quick tip in there when you guys are doing searches on Perplexity AI for the best outputs possible. Now, another feature you get with Perplexity Pro is the ability to upload and analyze unlimited files, aka the vision capability. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can already do this in both the free versions of ChatGPT and Claude. You can upload PDFs, you can upload image, and you can have it describe and explain what it is that you uploaded. So if I go to Perplexity, I'm going to leave this on the Pro Search. You can click Attach here. And so I'm just going to attach uh, the Bitcoin white paper, just a PDF that I had on my desktop for this example. And then what you can do is I like how it gives you these uh, auto generated uh, responses here or questions. What are the key insights? What is the conclusion? Who are the authors of this document? You can say anything. You can say uh, summarize this PDF um, for me. Let's do in depth or in detail. And then again, I'm on that pro search. So this search should be pretty in depth and in detail versus just that quick search that you can do by default. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna summarize that PDF that I attached of the Bitcoin white paper. So that's the only source that it has right there. And then it's gonna give me an introduction and statement, proposed solution, key components of the Bitcoin system. So it's going pretty in depth here. Um, and you don't have to take it this far in depth. I'm just showing you a really quick example. You can also upload an image and say, describe this image for me. Um, but that's just a really quick example. And again, again, I don't think this is a huge deal either because you can already upload PDFs and images and use the vision capability of ChatGPT and Claude without being premium subscribers to those platforms. So I don't think that this is the biggest deal in the world either when it comes to uploading and analyzing unlimited files. Now, another important feature to discuss about Perplexity Pro is the ability to generate AI images. Notice how it says 50 answers per day using Playground, Dolly, Stable Diffusion, and more. So it looks like you only get up to 50 AI generated images per day using Perplexity Pro. And if I come back to Perplexity, click on the settings icon and scroll down, you'll notice here there's an option for image generation model. And you can toggle between the different AI image generation models that are available inside Perplexity. Playground V3, Dolly 3, Stable Diffusion XL, and Flux 1. Flux 1, of course, is what Grok uses. I have a full video explaining how you can access this for free. But on that topic, you can actually access all of these AI image generation models for free. Playground.com, I pulled this up before the video. You can generate up to 15 images every three hours. You can use Dolly 3 for free inside what's called the Microsoft Bing Image Creator. You can use Stable Diffusion XL for free inside Night Cafe. You can also use, uh, you can use Flux 1 for free inside PicLumen or even Crea.ai. So there's already tons of ways that you can use all of these different AI image models for free from various sources. So to someone who's new to AI, they might look at that and say, wow, what a great deal. But the fact is, guys, I already know of different ways where you can generate all these different AI images for free using these models. So 
I don't think that's a huge selling point to someone who's already been in the weeds of AI, who has all these different tools. But if you don't know much about AI and you want to stick to one platform, maybe it's worth it. I don't know, guys. I'm not too sold on that feature as well. So another feature that you get with Perplexity Pro, and it's not mentioned here in this thing that they send you through email, is the ability to create what are called Perplexity Pages. Now, why would you want to even create Perplexity Pages? Well, number one, this is a great way to get your website indexed. You can add links inside Perplexity Pages that link back to your website and get it indexed inside Perplexity's Knowledge Graph. If you also click the Discover tab here, I believe these are Perplexity Pages. You can have a chance to show up on the Discover tab. I'm not sure how important that is or if you'd want to read AI-generated pages from Perplexity just another use case of pages. So in order to create pages, again, this is exclusive to paid members only, come over to library, you can click this plus sign and then click page. And this is what it looks like. This is Perplexity's way of generating AI content through what they call pages. And so let's say I wanna write an article about uh, best AI YouTubers in 2024. And if I click enter, what it's going to do is generate an AI article pulling this image from this website actually, uh, generating an AI article under my bio here um, with whatever language model that I had checked in the settings. I had it set to default, so it's using whatever model that it thought was best suited for this prompt. And so here it came up with Lex Friedman's AI interviews, Julia McCoy's AI approach. Uh, I don't know how to say that, but another channel. And so the nice part is you can actually edit specific sections. You can add media. If you wanna add media here, you can change titles. Uh, you can edit this, you can come in here and make edits here right here for custom instructions. Uh, you can add a section down here. So of course, let's say I wanna add myself and my website. So what I would do in this example to get my website indexed and add my channel to this is I would add a section. Actually, I wanna add it higher up. So I'm gonna insert section right here and I'm gonna do Ryan Dozer with AI Insider Tips. And I'm gonna click enter. And I'm curious to see what it's gonna come up with. It says Ryan Dozer, prominent AI content creator. I'm not sure it actually, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure this is actually my channel. It just, maybe it just spit words here. Um, but what I wanna do is then I can, I can actually uh, index my website. So I'm gonna enter AIinsidertips.com, copy and paste that, come back to perplexity. And if you wanna add an internal link and index your website into pages, what you can do is hover over any text that you want. So I'm just gonna do as the founder of AI Insider, you can add what are called custom instructions. And I'm gonna say, insert an internal link. And I'm gonna add that internal link there, click enter, and you'll see it says rewriting. And as you'll see, it now inserted a link that links back to my website. And this is probably the most important part of Perplexity Pages, in my opinion, is the, the ability to get your website indexed inside Perplexity. And as the popularity of this AI-powered search engine continues to grow, and we start seeing users shift from traditional search engines to Perplexity or Search GPT or even LLMs, getting your website indexed is going to be more important as time goes on. But again, that is Perplexity Pages. Not the biggest deal in the world, in my opinion, but it's more important than some of those other features offered by Perplexity Pro, uh, especially when it comes like images, uploading files, uh, the preferred model, et cetera, et cetera. So that is another feature that you get is the ability to create pages inside Perplexity Pro. So now the ultimate question, is Perplexity Pro worth it? And like anything in AI and marketing, obviously it depends. I will say this though, if you only had $20 a month to invest in a premium AI tool, I would recommend investing in ChatGPT Plus or Claude Pro before I would dabble in Perplexity Pro. I have other videos on my YouTube channel diving more into ChatGPT Plus and Claude Pro. I'll leave links to all of these in the video description below if you're on the fence about which premium AI tool you should invest in. That is my two cents. I just think if I look at all of these features again, you already get access to GPT 4.0, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Claude 3 Opus. You get access to a lot of these models for free, even in even without the premium versions of ChatGPT or Claude. You can also upload and analyze files in ChatGPT or Claude for free. And also, I just showed you all those sources up here, whether it's the Bing Image Creator, uh, Night Cafe, Pick Lumen, uh, what was the other one? Playground.com. 
There's already all sorts of these resources out there where you can generate AI images for free. And by the way, more than 50 a day. So I think that feature is overrated in my opinion. The only way I could see Perplexity Pro being worth it are two reasons. Number one is Perplexity Pages. I think getting your website indexed inside Perplexity's knowledge graph is more valuable than people realize as we see a shift into more AI powered search engines like Perplexity, like a search GPT. I think that's a very undervalued situation in my opinion. So that's number one. And number two is if you're involved in anything research related, right? Academic research, you just want better research compared to what you get in ChatGPT, Claude, or even Google to some extent. I think that's where Perplexity Pro makes the most sense as it does have, it looks like more academic sources to its disposal than what you would find in other paid in other premium LLMs, I'm trying to say. But anyways, guys, those are my uh, just overall final thoughts of if Perplexity Pro is worth it or not. I wanna hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Do you think Perplexity Pro is worth it? Do you like it better than ChatGPT Plus, Claude Pro? Are there any other premium AI tools that I'm missing in this scenario here? Just wanna hear what you guys have to think in the comments below. But if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you being here. Be sure to subscribe, like this video if you found value, but most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.